Okay, welcome everyone. Um, this is a rerun of a tutorial we did at Izmir in uh, Taipei uh, a couple of weeks ago, and uh, we wanted to do it here. So uh, this is a tutorial on Shinshu music. Uh, the title is Concepts and Computational Tools for its Analysis. Um, this is a three-hour uh, tutorial. In fact, uh, now maybe it's going to be a little bit longer because we're going to take it a little bit easier than what we had to do at, uh, at Izmir. So hopefully we can explain uh, the things a little bit more uh, thoroughly than uh, what uh, we did. And this uh, tutorial uh, is given by uh, Rafael Carro Repeto, Jay Srinivasamurti, Sankapurati, and myself. So we are all working in uh, the Com Music project. And uh, this is very much uh, within uh, the aims of the project, and specifically what uh, we are starting to work on related to, with uh, picking opera or binging opera or uh, chinchu music. So let me uh, just uh, give you an outline of uh, the tutorial, how it's going to go. Uh, so this is uh, just a short presentation that I will give, uh, five minutes. Then uh, the longest part will be an introduction to Shinshu music by uh, Rafael uh, that will last uh, 60 minutes. And basically, he will do a more kind of musicological approach to the topic. Uh, Rafael comes from uh, ethnomusicology and musicological background, so his approach is more from this uh, musical perspective. Uh, then I will continue with uh, a short presentation on the computational framework that in com music uh, we use, and specifically related to Shinshu music, so you understand the kind of tools and uh, the concepts of like corpora and data sets that uh, we are using for uh, the study of uh, Shinshu music. Then uh, we will talk about uh, the research problems that uh, we have identified, that are some are general to all the repertoires we're studying in the Com Music projects. And then uh, Rafael will talk more specifically about the research problems that uh, are specific uh, for uh, Shinshu music. And then the more kind of MIR uh, part of the, of the tutorial will be uh, two presentations, uh, one by Sankalp, another by Ajay, on the actual analysis of melodic and rhythmic issues from this MIR perspective. So uh, Sankalp, that is a PhD student uh, here at the Music Technology Group in Barcelona, uh, we'll talk about the, the analysis of melodic aspects of, uh, in general, of uh, any music tradition, but then putting some examples of the Shinshu music. And Ajay, also a PhD student uh, working on, on these areas, working on rhythm, will uh, give us an overview of rhythm analysis. Again, general for uh, a lot of the traditions we are working on, but uh, using examples and talking specifically about uh, uh, Beijing Opera. And finally, we will have uh, some conclusions and, and discussions. So before uh, we actually go into Raphael's talk, let me just briefly uh, introduce what Com Music is and uh, the kind of uh, things we are doing. So uh, Com Music is a, a research project uh, funded by the uh, European Commission that aims at studying several music traditions from an information processing point of view. These are the traditions uh, we are studying. Uh, we are studying the two classical traditions of India, uh, Carnatic and Hindustani. We are studying uh, the music tradition that currently is uh, alive in the north of Africa, what is uh, called Arab Andalusian music. Then, uh, of course, the one that uh, is the topic of this tutorial, Beijing Opera. And uh, finally, uh, the tradition of Turkey that relates with the Ottoman uh, tradition there, and uh, we call it uh, Turkish Makam music. Let me just briefly uh, play you a few excerpts of every of these uh, traditions so you get a, a feeling for the types of music we work on. So let's uh, first with uh, Carnatic music. <laughs> Okay, 
So this is the tradition from the south of India. Then uh, the classical tradition uh, that comes from the north of India is uh, what uh, we name Hindustani music, and uh, let's listen a little bit of that. <laughs> Arab Andalusian music. listen to Beijing Opera, so no need uh, to play it now, and let me just finish by playing a little excerpt of uh, Turkish Maka music. <laughs> These uh, five music traditions, in some aspects, are very distinct, and uh, also they share quite a few things in common. For example, one of the, the uh, features that are shared among all these uh, five traditions are they're mainly vocal, even though the excerpt we played of Turkish Makam was an instrumental uh, section, but uh, it's mainly vocal, and there is a very clear, distinct uh, melodic uh, aspect to it, and a very distinct uh, percussion accompaniment uh, to that. And that uh, basically has uh, driven us to work on certain aspects of these music traditions. We are not working on everything. And this kind of uh, uh, summarizes a little bit of the kind of work we're doing. So we are starting from recordings. Uh, this, uh, our research is uh, very much driven from audio analysis, from recording uh, of uh, music and then analyzing them. But we are also very much concerned with information that accompanies uh, and describes uh, these uh, recordings. So we are using uh, editorial metadata, descriptions about the music, and we are also analyzing this type of information together with the recordings. And the actual research that we're doing is basically depicted in this, uh, in this uh, table, in uh, which we are using three types of methodologies. Uh, engineering methodologies. One is signal processing, the other is machine learning, another is uh, semantic analysis. In this tutorial, we are basically going to focus more on the signal processing aspect and a little bit on the machine uh, learning uh, approaches that we are using. And with this type of uh, methodologies, we want to study three aspects of these music traditions. We want to study the melodic aspect, and uh, one of fundamental uh, issue is to identify patterns and repetitions and things that make a melody to be understood and to, to be able to, uh, to uh, basically have uh, a communication meaning. Uh, then we uh, are going to also do research on rhythmic analysis, so identifying the different types of patterns that exist in uh, these different music traditions and are quite distinct from one tradition to another. And uh, finally, the other type of work we do is uh, semantic analysis, semantic relationships. So we want to basically understand uh, relationship between the, the concepts, the entities that are relevant uh, from a music perspective on these music traditions. 
we will uh, see some of that. Uh, again, we will basically focus on the melodic and rhythmic aspects. We are not going to talk much about the semantic relationships. And one outcome of the project and uh, a way to evaluate that our research uh, makes sense and that our research has uh, some useful uh, applications and at the same time that we can evaluate the, the, the algorithms we are developing is we are putting together uh, a web uh, site. It's called Dunya that uh, I'm going to uh, show just very briefly in which basically we are uh, integrating the technologies we have developed with data sets, with the corpora that we are putting together in a way that we can navigate and we can explore in kind of innovative ways these uh, type of music traditions uh, based on this analysis that uh, we are performing. And uh, that's all for this uh, very uh, brief uh, presentation. Uh, so now we will start with uh, Rafael and uh, he will give uh, a more uh, musical perspective into this so you understand the, the, the basics of this music tradition and, uh, and then you will be able to understand why are we working on certain uh, problems of, uh, of this uh, music tradition. So thank you. <laughs> 